India Today's consulting editor Rajdeep Sardesai is also joining me right now. Rajdeep, like you predicted early this morning, Priyanka Gandhi not in the game for now, but it's going to be Rahul Gandhi. You tell us, what, what should one make of it? Because when you say Daromat slogan and then this happens, do you think it's largely because Priyanka Gandhi hasn't taken the decision that the Congress party thought, what do we do now? Absolutely right. Absolutely right, uh, Pooja. It was because Priyanka Gandhi chose at the, uh, not to contest that Rahul Gandhi then uh, was left with the option of Amethi and Rai Bareli, and they chose Rai Bareli because, uh, yes, as Rahul Varma just pointed out, relatively their surveys show it's a safer seat. So it gives Rahul Gandhi then the option of traveling to other parts of the country rather than having to only focus on one constituency. Amethi would have been a real dogfight, a scrap with uh, Smriti Irani, and the Congress felt that in that situation, the only beneficiary really is Smriti Irani. But it is a safety uh, first uh, choice. The risk hasn't been taken. And to that extent, you are quite right. The Congress uh, cadres will feel that their leader hasn't chosen to take on uh, Smriti Irani. Rather, he's chosen the safer route uh, of Rai Bareilly. But strategically, you could argue that since Rahul Gandhi is also the star campaigner of the party, uh, he has to travel to the other parts of the country and therefore has chosen a constituency hmm. where he may not have to invest as much time at the moment as he would have to if he were to contest from an Amethi. Rajdeep, now in elections we do not know of course about the final result but does this give an edge to the Bharatiya Janata Party at least when it comes to the narrative and perhaps a more confidence to Smriti Adani on the seat? Uh, could you repeat that? Yeah, Rajdeep, that uh, what does it give as a as a boost to the narrative for the Bharatiya Janata Party and to Smriti Rani specifically for Amethi? Uh, uh, well, well, what it does is that Smriti Rani's path perhaps is made a little easier. Uh, K.L. Sharma is a veteran congressman, but I can't see him, uh, you know, galvanizing the crowds in the manner that a Gandhi family member would have had uh, Priyanka or Rahul Gandhi contested from Amethi. Uh, knowing Smriti Irani, she will try and take full advantage of the fact that uh, Rahul Gandhi is not there and say that Rahul Gandhi is run away. It gives the BJP also that narrative to play up. So I think from Smriti Irani's point of view, it makes her road uh, to re-election possibly a little easier. Final question here then, Rajdeep. You know, Priyanka Gandhi is still not in the electoral game. She's still the big star campaigner. But even for Rahul Gandhi, then doesn't it deserve a valid question? Why then fight even for two seats? Because the whole point was to fight from Amethi, show a strong fight. Even if you lose, you have Vyanad. But when it's both Vyanad and Raibareli, two seats, what does it really imply? Well, what it seems is that he's doing what Indira Gandhi famously did, Pooja, in 1980, fought from both Medak and Raibareli, and then gave up uh, Raibareli after she won both. The buzz is that if Rahul Gandhi wins both, he will give up Raibareli, and then Priyanka Gandhi Vadra will contest from Raibareli. You could argue it's a safety-first strategy, and that clearly uh, seems to be one of the driving forces of it. Number two, Rahul Gandhi seems to have invested a lot of his personal equity at the moment in Wayanad. And therefore, it would still seem he's reluctant to contest in the Hindi heartland, and that's the problem. You see, when your leader is reluctant to contest from the Hindi heartland, that's the wrong message that goes to your carders. To that extent, fighting from Amethi would have uh, sent out perhaps a far more... Uh, a uh, stronger message to the Congress cadres. It's a risk that the Congress has taken in terms of the fact that they seem to believe that uh, rather than uh, take on Smriti Irani, let's give Rahul Gandhi a relatively safe seat in Uttar Pradesh and then f uh, get him to campaign in the rest of the country. But it's also given the BJP as a result uh, a chance to suggest that the Congress leader is running away from the battle in Amethi. And they've already started to say it. It's very expected. And, and perhaps it would have been a messaging of a fight that the Congress is giving, like you're rightly pointing out, especially in the Hindi heartland. Appreciate you joining us, Rajdeep. Because remember, for now, Congress will say they have their political calculations in place. But can this damage the Congress party? Because there was this party-wide, country-wide request, specifically when it came to a state like Uttar Pradesh, when you're sending 80 Lok Sabha members of parliament, that there should be the Congress to be able to put up a strong fight. Can they reclaim Amethi now? Because can KL Sharma then take on Smriti Irani? And can it appear that Rahul Gandhi has decided to go for a safer seat? Is this a high-profile surrender in the Hindi heartland, which has been a bastion ever since in 1967, where even though there have been, there have been losses, but almost always there was either a Sanjay Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi, Indira Gandhi, and then Rahul Gandhi as well, and Sonia Gandhi for some years.
and then came in, remember the Daro Mat slogan, do not suffer, do not get scared, was the slogan of the Congress party, Saho Mat, Daro Mat. Is it hollow if a safer seat is chosen rather than a strong fight? And eventually, can it give a boost to Smriti Rani? Who will say that she's not been able to only make inroads into the Gandhi bastion and now that a Gandhi sibling does not even want to face her? Eventually, it will be about the cadre on the ground who has to campaign for these leaders and send the message across that not a Priyanka or Rahul but a KL Sharma is now ready for a Amethi. People may know him on the ground in terms of an election manager, not as much of a mass leader. Rahul Gandhi was projected as a warrior, for now appears to have chosen a safe seat. Does that mean that Gandhi, Amethi, Bastion, like it was said in one line, is not going to be on here? Failed chance to galvanize the party in Uttar Pradesh, the state where once the Congress, the Gandhis were the strongest and now perhaps that one seat is where they are trying to bank on.